Chapter 9 And the fifth angel blew the trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from heaven to the earth, and the key of the shaft of the abyss was given to him. And he opened the shaft of the abyss, and smoke went up from the shaft like smoke from a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by the smoke from the shaft. And out of the smoke locusts came to the earth, and power was given to them, like the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was told to them that they should not damage the grass of the earth, or any green plant, or any tree, except those people who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And it was granted to them that they should not kill them, but that they would be tormented five months, and their torment is like the torment of a scorpion when it stings a person. And in those days people will seek death and will never find it, and they will long to die, and death will flee from them. And the appearance of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle, and on their heads were something like crowns, similar in appearance to gold. And their faces were like men's faces, and they had hair like the hair of women, and their teeth were like the teeth of lions, and they had breastplates like iron breastplates, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of many horse-drawn chariots running into battle. And they have tails similar in appearance to scorpions, and stings, and their power to injure people for five months is in their tails. They have as king over them the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek he has the name Apollyon. The first woe has passed. Behold, two woes are still coming after these things. And the sixth angel blew the trumpet, and I heard one voice from the horns of the golden altar that is before God, saying to the sixth angel, the one who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who have been bound at the great river Euphrates. And the four angels, who had been prepared for the hour and day and month and year, were released, in order that they should kill a third of humanity. And the number of the troops of the cavalry was two hundred million. I heard the number of them. And in this way I saw the horses in the vision, and those seated on them, who had fiery red and hyacinth-colored and sulfurous yellow breastplates. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and out of their mouths came fire and smoke and sulfur. By these three plagues a third of humanity was killed, by the fire and the smoke and the sulfur that came out of their mouths. For the power of the horses is in their mouths and in their tails, for their tails are similar in appearance to snakes, having heads, and with them they cause injury." And the rest of humanity, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of the works of their hands, in order not to worship the demons, and the gold, and silver, and bronze, and stone, and wooden idols, which are able neither to see, nor to hear, nor to walk. And they did not repent of their murders, or of their magic spells, or of their sexual immorality, or of their thefts.